Returning to the DDS section of Stormscape, under the Additional Tools section, the Soak Away Calculation option is now selected. This will allow the user to carry out a quick and efficient design for the provision of a Soak Away unit. Within the Soak Away module, there are three steps to follow to complete the design. Algorithm, Shape of the Unit, and Calculation Tool. Initially, the user can select either to design the Soakaway using the British Research Establishment, BRE approach, or the Construction Industry Research and Information Association, Syria method. In this case, BRE has been selected. The next section deals with the generation of the associated rainfall data. Again, the user has two options available to generate rainfall. Flood Studies Report, FSR, from which the details are obtained by selection of the location on the UK and Ireland map, or Flood Estimation Handbook, FEH, from which the values are calculated and entered by hand. This example will use the FSR approach, and therefore the rainfall data can easily be obtained by the selection of the desired location on the embedded UK and Ireland map. In this case, Southampton is the working location. And once selected, the rainfall data is automatically generated and made available for the calculation. The user can adjust the return period for the calculation and has the option to increase the rainfall intensity by a percentage factor to allow for future climate change. Under Settings, the infiltration rate is entered. This is the rate at which the water soaks into the ground and is often confirmed by tests undertaken at the site. The units for infiltration need to be entered. The contributing areas can now be added to the calculation and in this case there is no roof area and 95 square meters of paved surfaces. The user can now select the shape tab which will allow the size and physical details of the soakaway to be entered. Three options are available to define the shape of the soakaway. Rectangular trench, circular pit and rectangular pit. A rectangular pit is selected and the user can input the first estimation of size, width by length by effective depth. Within the rectangular pit, Stormscape provides the option to install either a vertical or horizontal tank arrangement. In this case, a vertical tank has been selected of 450 mm radius. Finally, the soak-away infill material and associated porosity can be selected from a drop-down list. In this case, gravel with a porosity of 0.3 is the desired material but the user has the option to manually input a value for porosity. With the data entry complete, the calculation can now be undertaken by entering the Calculation tab and selecting the Calculation button. The results are immediately displayed in a graphical output, showing the variation of the depth of water in the soakaway with the most important design information listed below. From the graphical information, it is easy to see that in this case, the height of the water in the soakaway, H max, exceeds the depth of the unit based on the initial estimation of the size within the shape field. Based on the results, it is therefore a simple case of returning to the shape field, making the necessary adjustments to the dimensions of the soakaway and then returning to carry out a recalculation. In this case, the depth of the soakaway has been increased from 1 meter to 1.5 meters. Having rerun the calculation and viewed the graph and associated information, it is clear that the depth of water, Hmax, is now comfortably contained within the revised unit, previously adjusted to increase the overall depth. Under the BRE approach, the results show that the time for the soak away to half empty is well within 24 hours, 
and therefore the unit as designed is considered acceptable. The design is now complete, and the user has the option on the calculation page to save the design information to their computer in either PDF or rich text format. Returning to the DDS section of Stormscape, under the Additional Tools section, the Harvesting Tank Calculation option is now selected. This will allow the user to carry out a quick and efficient calculation for the provision of a rainwater harvesting tank to meet the needs of a range of applications. Within the Harvesting Tank module, there are two steps to follow to complete the design. Demand and Available Rainwater. The demand and available rainwater categories are used to calculate the required storage volume. Each of the included elements for demand require input for single-use equivalent volume, frequency of use, and period relating to use, daily, weekly, or monthly. The data is then input for demand progressively under each included category. WC Urinals Washing Machine Vehicle Wash and Garden or Other Use. Once the demand data has been entered, under the Available Water section, the Contributing Roof Area can be entered together with the first estimation of the harvesting tank diameter to be used. The final field to populate is the average annual rainfall for the location in question. To obtain this information, the user simply opens the appropriate region of the embedded UK and Ireland map and selects the location in question. The information is then automatically placed in the annual average rainfall field located under Available Water. Once the demand and available water sections are complete, the calculation section provides the total water demand in litres per day, required tank height based on the first estimate of the tank diameter under the available water section, the percentage of demand that can be met from rainwater harvesting, in this case a 100% provision, and required tank volume in this case around 3.7 cubic meters of storage. Providing the results match the requirements for the provision of rainwater harvesting on the site in question, then the calculation is effectively complete. The results can then be saved to a user-defined directory, the output being selectable in PDF or rich text format. Returning to the DDS section of Stormscape, under the Additional Tools section, the Storage Tank Calculation option is now selected. This will allow the user to carry out a quick and efficient calculation for the provision of on-site storage in the form of a tank or other holding structure. The Storage Tank module is basically a single-step process to allow the user to complete the design this being contained within storage data. As a first step, selection of an appropriate location on the embedded UK and Ireland map provides the rainfall-related data contained within the storage data section. The user has the option to adjust the time period for the calculation and apply an increased percentage factor to allow for future climate change. Within the storage data section, the contributing drainage area is then applied, together with a pass-forward flow rate, which, when taken in combination, will contribute to the final calculated storage volume. An initial estimate is then applied in relation to the diameter of the holding tank. The user has the option to select an appropriate size from a range provided within a drop-down listing. Once all the data has been added, 
the calculation can then be applied. The results are presented in two forms. Graphical display, detailing the variation in volume and the actual maximum volume required to be stored. The key data is also presented relating to critical rainfall duration. Critical rainfall rate, required tank volume and required tank length based on the initial estimation of the tank diameter. Once a satisfactory set of results have been obtained, the user can then save the data output report to a defined directory in either PDF or rich text format.